Hey, well, good morning. Catalina Phillips Church, Pastor John Sun here with our morning devotion. We're in Acts uh, 21, where Paul has come to Jerusalem. He's actually on his way to Rome, and he stopped in Jerusalem. And it says in Acts 21, When we arrived at Jerusalem, the brothers and sisters received us warmly. The next day, Paul and the rest of us went to see James, and all the elders were present. Paul greeted them and reported in detail what God had done among the Gentiles through his ministry. When they heard this, they praised God. Then they said to Paul, You see, brother, how many thousands of Jews have believed, and all of them are zealous for the law. They have been informed that you teach all the Jews who live among the Gentiles to turn away from Moses, telling them not to circumcise their children or live according to our customs. What shall we do? They will certainly hear that you have come, so do what we tell you. There are four men with us, who have made a vow, take these men, join in their purification rites, and pay their expenses so that they can have their heads shaved. And everyone will know there is no truth in these reports about you, but that you yourself are living in obedience to the law. As for the Gentile believers, we have written to them our decision that they should abstain from food sacrificed to idols, from blood, from the meat of strangled animals, and from sexual immorality. The next day, Paul took the men and purified himself along with them. Then he went to the temple and gave notice of the date when the days of purification would end and the offering would be made for each of them. So uh, if you're not in church with us right now, that's fine, or you don't attend our church, we're, we're glad to have you. But we've been talking about Paul's message to the Corinthians. And in, in the book of Corinthians, he says, Look, I have become all things to all men that I might win some. And as you read Paul, especially in books like Galatians, uh, also, books at time like Philippians, we see Paul zealously saying that obedience to the law, obedience to Moses, does not bring righteousness. That righteousness can only be obtained by faith in Jesus Christ. Now, notice I'm not talking about forgiveness of sins. Certainly, the forgiveness of sins can only be obtained by faith in Jesus Christ. But Paul begins to teach very clearly in Romans uh, four, three, and four, and then in uh, in Galatians that. Uh, the righteousness that the law requires can only be had through faith in Jesus Christ. So when Paul comes back to report the great ministry that's been taking place among the Gentiles, the Jews are suspicious. And there's a lot we can do with this, but the Jewish nation, the Jews that have believed in Jesus have essentially added Jesus to everything they're doing. And if we got into their hearts and they would be in heaven with us, we'd recognize that they're trusting Jesus for forgiveness and righteousness, and yet... They're still zealous to keep the law of Moses. And it's interesting that they say that he's teaching them to turn away from Moses. So Paul, in order to reach these Jews, in order to be heard by these Jews, in order to show that he is an apostle fulfilling what the Old Testament says, begins to take this vow with these other Jewish men, a vow required by the law where he is purified and shaves their heads, and they present it to the to the temple uh, when they've done it. But what we see here is Paul. We see Paul becoming all things to all men. Paul, in in different places, for instance, one place he says, "What I could have counted to my credit, I've done away with." And he, and he lists that I was trained in the best school. I was a member of the Sanhedrin. No one can challenge my Jewishness. But that's all lost to me. I'd rather know Christ than have that. So here we see Paul living out the lessons we're getting in 1 Corinthians. He's becoming a law keeper to those who keep laws. And yet, in the book of Corinthians, he says, It's fine to eat my meat. That was, and you can read it. I don't know that I can turn there this quickly. But he says, It's totally okay to eat meat that has been sold in the marketplace. Remember, he, at the end of our time, he says, um, he basically says, oh, I can't find it quickly. Oh, yeah, he says, if an unbeliever invites you to a meal and you want to go, eat whatever's put before you without raising questions or concerns. That meat was sacrificed to idols. The Jewish people had said that we should abstain from food sacrificed to idols. There's a real difference here. Paul's actually right. But what you see Paul practicing is love. Um, 
He is saying, what will it take for you to hear me? I will not compromise my integrity. I will not compromise my convictions about Jesus Christ and the truth of the Old Testament, but more importantly, the truth of the gospel. So if you want me to become a law keeper, I will, that I might win you to Jesus Christ. Uh, that's why I said yesterday, for instance, if someone says, I want you to wear a mask, we shouldn't say back to them at this point, I have the right to not wear a mask. That's what the Corinthians were saying. Paul would say, let's put on the mask that we might win them. So Paul here is, is demonstrating in a powerful way that we are to become all things to all men. Who is the person you need to become like that you might talk to them and know them better? Is it your child? Is it your neighbor? Is it your coworker? Have you been fighting with them? Have you been stridently asserting your rights that Paul says to the Corinthians, not all things are beneficial, not all, all things build up? Who do you need to become all things to that you might win them the way Jesus and Paul did? Good to be with you this Tuesday morning. Hope to see you uh, in person Sunday. If not, we'll see you online. We understand that not everybody's ready to come back, but we're glad you're here and you have a great week.